Hello everyone and welcome to Flickering Myth. My name is EJ Marino and we have a fun video today. Alan, this is a subject we have talked about often in our friendship, to be honest. Like yeah. This conversation has popped up often, so you've seen the title. We are talking about good movies, bad franchise. We're talking about a film that started off oh so good. It, like Honestly, some of these I have are masterpieces to end up having sequels that are far from that word yes. um and you know these these aren't going to be you know say all of these sequels are bad you know there's one that i i tossed around for an idea of like i don't particularly love the back to the future sequels but you need them mm -hmm. like those are yeah. those are part of the legacy so you know this is going to be interesting of finding these one really good movies that led to some very bad films or some painfully mediocre ones uh this is a fun subject i i do think this is interesting because this happens a lot in hollywood where they get an idea maybe get one or two really good ideas out of something and just falter very quickly um, yes i can i can think of the 2000s you know there's some older ones i have on my list but i i will do one that instantly that usually i think we started this conversation with is pirates of the caribbean Oh, <laughs> I think that is a yeah. very, very good first film. Mm -hmm. It's the acting is over the top. You know, it's not perfect. Orlando Bloom and Keira Knightley are a little unpolished in that film compared to. I do think those two actors get better later on. Yes. The characters get worse. Um, but um, Johnny Depp was very good in this first Jack Sparrow performance. And what do you say to three shillings? And we forget the name. It was it, the the character didn't become self parody. It didn't also become sometimes just Johnny Depp. It's how I feel about Iron Man, where I'm like, where did Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man, and where did Jack Sparrow <laughs> and like Johnny Depp start mixing yes. and leaving each other? Do you, would you agree with me about Pirates of the Caribbean? One hundred percent, absolutely. Is, is there good other good ones? I remember the second one being fine. No, it's not no, fine. It's, it's not? miserable. It's it's every bit miserable. Um three I, what's, what's no three is worse <laughs> so, so there's so there's just no good one <laughs> four four it, this might be controversial uh four is it's not a good movie but it's fun is it the penelope cruz one yeah yeah with uh orlando bloom and Keira knightley not in it yes and yes. uh ian mcshane yes ian mcshane is blackbeard great i mean what yes. a great actor five um, is one of the worst things i've ever seen in my life which yes. <laughs> which has honestly hurt the people's career in that too a lot of people weren't happy with jerry bruckheimer because johnny Depp was a hot mess on that film and it showed um that's one of his worst performances i've seen um yeah. and i i and i like the character even though when those movies were bad they were still writing him better by i think four and five they he was he had good stuff to do in four just still felt like the character was like a light year away from where it had started and what yes. we all liked about it. Oh yeah, for sure. One, yeah, one I think is a fantastic pirate movie. Great uh, score as well. What a yeah. fun score. I mean, those stayed well. I think technically they all look fine until that last one I think looks bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks cheap. But I think they look like... fine, to be honest. At least they didn't downgrade in quality, which some of the ones in my list... Uh, <laughs> Uh, have downgraded in quality do you have one that pops into your mind quickly uh, okay this is a bit controversial i think as well i was going to save this one till this one till a little later and this isn't going to be controversial with you you're just going to be like whatever of course um the rambo movies um only the first one's good fuck you <laughs> like fuck anybody that, that i have seen the first one multiple times recently it's just been on first... tv for some reason First um, Blood's so good. Uh, number four is okay. Uh, yes. Two's trash. Three is super trash. I didn't even watch five. Five's um, uh, a little uh, uh, a little maga for my tasting. Yeah, um, Rambo. The first Rambo. Oh, first Blood. It's First Blood has a point. First yes. Blood is making a statement. Everything else is rah rah military action trash, which is the exact opposite of what, of what First Blood is. Yeah, so, I mean first one has some really great lines of like oh you know what was it god didn't make him i made him um yeah when i love those moments where i was like yeah. it, it it you you get the rambo character which is so funny because it, it's so 
anti-American propaganda in so many ways. And like, yeah, the cop beating, like, it's just so funny how like aggressive that movie is in one political mindset to where it would evolve into. Yes. Um, yeah, and I used to think those movies were all kind of just copy and paste the same, but no, they weren't. Like, no. that first one was a truly unique film that was good. Um, yeah, and then absolutely. They did, I don't know what they evolved into. And then it's, yeah, a mess. An absolute mess. <laughs> yeah, what else you got? That, I wouldn't say that was too controversial. I think a lot. I, 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 no, I know it wouldn't be for you. Somebody in the true. comments that's is going to be like, fuck you, Rambo uh, First Blood Part 2 is a great movie, and it's not. Well, it let's, ain't. let's keep the idea of bros in the woods or in the jungle, uh, Predator. Um, oh I my think... god, I'm glad you brought this because I was gonna. <laughs> this is now, semi here's my some list things. Too. I don't hate Predator 2, I think it's over Predator the top, <laughs> it's so stupid, but I, I, I enjoy it in a different way. I yes. think AVP. It's a, it's a hot mess, but I really like Sidney and Lathan being friends with a predator. I don't know. That whole end of that movie just gets me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's, again, they're, these are ridiculous, but I do think that first predator is a pretty decent movie. Like, it's yeah. good, and I like the fear of it. I like when they're just shooting off into the wood, you know, into the jungle at some points where they don't know what's out there, but they know it's their yeah. love. I think there's That's good tension. an insane movie. Yeah, it's it, it's tension. It crafts it's a, a world that you like immediately believe in and like puts you puts you in a state where you're fearful for like the buffest dudes on the planet. <laughs> That's just incredible. And then yeah. everything after is um just trash. I I this was only semi on my list cuz I didn't see um predators or the predator or like the most recent two i like predators the robert rodriguez one i think yeah. it's good it, it's back to the jungle it's back to what i think the the og feelings of it i do think that predator movie the predator is very bad like and i actually don't hate shane black movies but it's the worst of what shane black does in his stuff yeah didn't Magnum. he write the first one yes and he's in the first <laughs> one he's like the nerdy guy with glasses yeah in the first that's one. right that's right um i like his character too i know i and you know he's the one non-buff guy and you kind of like oh uh, yeah i like him and i think i think he... he's a super good writer in a super mediocre director <laughs> yes i i could definitely attest to that now to counterbalance it how do you feel about alien do you feel alien falls into this category or not no i'm the only person on the planet that likes every alien movie so <laughs> i like every alien movie like um, i really like every alien movie even the i mean resurrection is down the list for yeah. me and maybe if i revisited it as an adult instead of a teenager i might even like it more Come on now, give me the ball. But I like all of them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> um, I like the first one a lot. Um, yes. I actually don't mind Prometheus and Alien Covenant. They they do I something will, different in a way. I love so. those movies. Yeah. I love those movies more than I like Aliens. So that yeah. somebody's going to... Ooh. I've been fighting that fight for a long time. <laughs> it's fine. I've been a fan of Prometheus, and I'm not a Lindelof fan. Um, I usually get angry at his scripts, um, and yeah. he he yeah, angers same. me a little bit. Um, and Prometheus, I don't like Lindelof, but I um, like Prometheus. Yeah, but yeah, I think those are the few questions that I don't care. Sometimes I'm invested in a story. That's why I never wanted to get into Lost because I was like, I feel like there's a plot line that I'll get invested in and it'll never get answered. <laughs> and I'm sure that's not. I'm sure it's well written and stuff too, but. Yeah, okay. So uh I have those two. What's what comes to mind for you? Anyone? RoboCop. Ooh, okay. Um Everything I'm... after one is bad. And I've Sorry. never seen any of the other ones. I know like isn't RoboCop three like a kid's film? Like don't they like de age it like to like PG thirteen and like they really kind of sanitized it by then? Maybe one of them. Yeah. I know one of them because I know that first movie is very bloody. It's like a horror film at times, and I actually yeah. really like that first film. Um I know the uh, I don't think Ro I know the RoboCop remake they ended up PG thirteen uh, doing that PG thirteen on that one uh, yeah and I that's an ugly suit yeah really bad reboot there which sometimes you I Joe Kinnaman oh, <laughs> the charisma vacuum of Joe Kinnaman <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I I I will have to agree with this one but these are ones I can't really personally attest to I've never seen past yeah. a certain RoboCop but they were a big thing didn't they have an animated series too I feel like that was there as well there was a, um, a live action tv series 
Ooh, okay. Okay, so let's, you know, we're in the 80s. I have a controversial one. We'll save my mega controversial one for the end. Uh, the Karate Kid, do you agree with me? I think the first one's yeah. the only one that really matters. The other one's the, the Hilary Swank one, the remake, you know. Yeah. Maybe Karate yeah, Kid no. 2, I don't really remember. That's the one he goes to Japan, I believe. Um, And I just don't, I just don't feel like we need more Karate Kids. No. Now, no. I will say people love Cobra Kai, and I hear that completely has redone the franchise in the, like, okay, this is what the other ones kind of should have done. So I've, I've heard really mm. good things about that. So I will put an asterisk that maybe going the TV route has saved this film. Like, maybe. <laughs> maybe going it, and, you know, from what I've heard, like, it's the, you know, Cobra Kai wants to re, you know, the guy who ran it was just like, we were bad people. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> um, and I think that's a good plot. Yeah, again, so I'm happy to see that that kind of got a second wind in the newer era, which is nice, because some of yeah. these aren't as lucky. Do you have one yeah. that uh, comes to your mind? Oh, um, I did. Uh, yeah. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Uh, this is controversial to no one, even though somebody might like these sequels. Jaws. Oh, that was, <laughs> that's the number one on my list. Oh, uh, that's the one I said yeah. earlier. I love all of those Jaws movies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they are all very bad because that first one is one of the best movies of all time. It's my personal favorite film. Like, if my, besides like genre pieces, it's yeah. it, Jaws is my favorite film. Like, I've seen it so <laughs> many times. Oh, those are bad movies, though. Yeah, they are. They really are. Which which one had Michael Caine? Was that the Revenge? Son of a bitch! Let's get out of here. That is Jaws of Revenge. The shark <laughs> roars. Uh, it also <laughs> goes from um, uh, the little whatever Amity Island that they were at to the Bahamas. Uh, it travels. Yeah. Um, again. <laughs> I love that movie. I think it's hilarious. I think Mrs. Yeah. Brody getting her revenge and stabbing it, and she's like telepathically connected to the shark. Mm -hmm. So when he kills, she feels it. I love that movie. It's so bad. Um, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, three is set in SeaWorld with Dennis Quaid, I believe. Um, mm. it, it, bad. It's in 3D. Very bad 80s 3D. Yeah. Uh, but I like these movies. I do think they're very bad. This is what <laughs> usually I think of when I think of this topic. When you brought this to me, Jaws was the first one I wrote down because that first Jaws film is like a 10 out of 10 film for so many people. Yeah. It's, it's a huge, it's a masterpiece. It's, I think, my favorite Spielberg film. Um, it's insane. Yep. And then those movies are so bad. Like, yeah, I, I fail to see like if anything else in the history of cinema has ever had such a drop off mm -hmm. <laughs> like because one like you said absolute masterpiece probably is the best spielberg movie uh, you can debate that all day uh, there's a couple it just has all my favorite qualities there, it's action but, adventure and also like scary yeah. it's so good yeah um, it's great but like no it, no two is like a watered down version of it which yeah. two isn't as bad as the rest of those Two's do, not awful it's two suffers not... from a lot of sequel problems two is yes. the hangover two for me where i'm like well that doesn't need to exist like yeah that that just shouldn't be here um yeah, the same these are the same beats <laughs> yeah no <laughs> we already um, saw this movie done better um yeah. That's a that's a, that's a good one because I and again I love Jaws. I have a poster hanging up in my room. Like it's, it is my thing. But <laughs> yeah, I will say um, this this isn't an entry for me because I have actually no experience with this um, with this franchise whatsoever. But the thing that spurred me to have this conversation was I was watching a, a YouTube channel. It's a guy by the name of Civi Eleven. He does like you know, first person shooter reviews and stuff. And he did one on a, a fake Hellraiser game. And he was like, in that video, he was like, I dare you to find a franchise with worse sequels than Hellraiser. And I was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah. And I will say Jaws, I think is Jaws, worse because I, I like yeah. a couple Hellraisers um, after the first one. Um, yeah. There is like 11 Hellraiser films. So yeah. definitely not, you know, uh, there, there's more bad than good. Um, so yeah, since we're on, you know, big blockbuster mainstream stuff and we might be pissing some people off, yo, Die Hard, the first Die Hard's the only one that should exist. Sorry, yep. everyone else. Uh, I don't. I, I, there um, are fine films. That's the only thing that, that, that stopped me, minus the 2000s ones, I don't think are as good. Um, but Die Hard 1, 2, and 3 are okay. 2 and 3 are 
okay films, I guess. Um, but I definitely feel like you don't need them. I feel like no. John McClane's story was told well in the first one. It's a great iconic film, great lines. I feel like the second one and the third ones don't have as many memorable quotes, you know, and then you get into the weird one that Kevin Smith is in and then the yeah, other I, one with Jai Courtney. <sighs> I didn't even watch the one with Jai Courtney because like the people that made it had no faith in it and dropped <laughs> it in February. So I was like, eh. But um, no, I like the ones that I've seen. I even like the the shitty "Live for Your Die Hard." Like most people, will probably most people shit on that one. I like it. It's a bad movie. I like Timothy Elephant. So <laughs> yeah, like, I like Timothy Elephant. Uh, I, I like Justin Long. Uh, Justin Long's dynamic with Bruce Willis. It's fun enough. Um, I like "Live for Your Die Hard." Die Hard Two has that thing again where you're just like doing the this first one the, yeah this is doing the first one except we get to see william sadler's ass so i guess this is <laughs> yeah and three you know three does have it, it changes up the flow a little bit i think mm -hmm. samuel jackson and bruce willis work amazingly well together always um, always so yeah. yeah there is a good thing so that's why that one was harder for me to name i definitely mm. feel like this kind of falls into those sequels are mostly unnecessary to yeah. how good and iconic and what a uh, chain game changer that first one was no one is saying die hard to change the game yeah exactly um, where you know a film like aliens aliens changed the game just as much as alien did uh, yeah. so that's kind of what i i gauge this on do you have one else that pops into your mind because i got a couple here that this one might already be on your list or it might not because you might like some of these sequels um in fact i think you do i know gerald does and gerald's gonna be a little bit mad about this but saw everything past the first one you can throw away okay saw was hard for me to put because i do like some of these and this isn't my bias i do feel like they mostly are trying to tell a complete story so i feel like the first one is a good film i just feel like it's only part of the puzzle for that one yeah. that one was a little harder for me to put because i don't think you know they definitely kind of differ in quality and some sequels are better than the other but i do think they're trying it's kind of like i couldn't really put like a harry potter on here even though i don't think some of those sequels are as good as you know some of the i think that first one is a pretty good you know magical film you yeah. need the rest of those films though. i can't just kind of erase them out of existence uh, to me um, like getting more into the puzzle with uh with like the jigsaw character and stuff ruins one though <laughs> like it does that, i think that guy those... just being a psychopath like not having his backstory works so much better it's yeah like when Darth... he's like, yelling at people about health insurance in like six or five i think six yeah. is the health insurance one i definitely <laughs> tune out a little bit yeah. so um no yeah I, I can definitely see saw is a good one i try to uh we talked about this off camera avoid horror sequels because mm. it's hard like especially those those franchise era like a hellraiser like a chucky even though i think chucky it gets better with time. I, yeah, those the, later ones. That's a stupid concept to begin with. So when, the more when, you dig yeah, into when it, when we get to Bride and Seed of Chucky, I'm so into those. Uh, once Don Mancini got to take over those, which that's going to a TV series, might be able to reinvent the franchise a little bit again. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. So yeah, I try to avoid Halloween to Friday Thirteenth. Halloween maybe. Um, I think if anyone stands out to me as a horror one, Nightmare on Elm Street. I think Freddy is somehow scary and terrifying, but funny in that first one. But he's mm -hmm. not the comedy pop culture character he became later yeah. on. I think the gore is really good in that first one where mm -hmm. I, you know, some of the other ones do have good kills. I think of like, welcome to primetime bitch and three and all that. Welcome to primetime bitch! <laughs> Which, yeah. fun stuff. Like there is good, but I definitely think how good that first Nightmare on Elm Street is it gets to be a little different maybe scream yeah. a little bit as well even though i love my scream saga um, <laughs> i will watch all the screams forever but that first one is like a masterpiece like that first scream is like yeah a I genre mean, defining film we could sit here and do it do this all day with horror yeah. <laughs> but that's why that that's really the only one that i wanted to bring to the table because i think i i think not, not only do the bad sequels like not only are the sequels bad in a typical like doing this horror shit over again way but i think that they're bad in a way that ruins yeah the ruins the first one yeah, so. yeah that makes sense um that's how i feel about one of my last picks on here men in black oh, oh man 
and and it yeah. sucks because I really do like that first film. I just rewatched it recently. Yeah, it's like, good. <laughs> oh my god! Like Vincent D'Onofrio's work in that film is yeah, man, sugar and in, in water. <laughs> <laughs> I love him in that movie. But like and I'm not the biggest Will Smith fan, but this got his oh, he's gimmick so good in it. perfectly. Like he's so good in when it. When he's like... when he's signing up and he's in the chairs and like uh, everything. He's so he's a comedic genius in that film. And I, I definitely think the sequels didn't really help him or Tommy Lee Jones no, much at all. Three is okay. Two is okay. I've watched two in theaters. And being 12, I was like, yeah, it was fun. I watched it again because we did it on Four Color Film. Um, and I was like, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Yeah, Laura Flamboy is a horrible lead actress in something. Yeah. <laughs> it's miserable. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like 80 minutes and you feel all, all of 80 of them. <laughs> yeah. And then an another one that has a remake or a reboot with Men in Black International that is one of oh, the worst yeah. movies too. So, yeah, Men in Black and that definitely sucks because like it's based on a, like a niche comic thing. Like yes. there's a lot to really enjoy about it. I think the animated series that came out around that time, I love that. Oh, yeah, that, I forgot about that. That was a pretty good one. Same thing I remember about Godzilla, the animated series was so much better than the 90s movie that oh, came yeah. out. <laughs> that <laughs> so was like, actually watchable. <laughs> yeah. So there's sometimes these things can be saved. Is there one that you want to say before we wrap up that kind of speaks to you? Or did we really cover the gauntlet of some of these major ones? Um I, I think that I think that pretty much covers it. The obvious one, it has one good sequel, and that's term in the Terminator series. Okay. <laughs> but because T2 is so good it's it's hard to be like it's hard to throw yeah. it on this list but if you want to just be like one two everything else unwatchable because <laughs> i have one last one we'll finish this off with and it's a big one we can always finish off a video with some michael bay hate transformers oh. i think that first transformers is a very good film i think it's megan fox's movie i people need to rewatch that movie she is the main character of that movie yeah. and is so good in that film i think the camera films her differently than the script wrote her yeah. i like her character in that the is, script that I is hate, true i hate her cinematography it's that's very she's true she's so sexualized but her character's fun she's a badass shia labeouf's character is weak in that first film like um <laughs> yeah no i and she's cool she steals cars i don't know i really like her in that movie i yeah, wish she, she went i wish bumblebees was her like her yeah her. that one ended and i went that's about the best you could do a big screen Transformers movie yep. and not in a negative way. I was like, I enjoyed that. Yep. And then the second one came out and it was pushing three hours. Like I went on a date to see that. And then by the time that movie was over, I was done with the date. She didn't even do anything. <laughs> like it wasn't no, nothing on her. I was just like, I want to go home. Yeah. The pretentious <laughs> like, ego of those films ruined those films for me. Maybe if they would have all stayed 90 minute little romps, Maybe yeah. those sequels would have been fine, yeah, but like but the like, self-important, those were yeah. pretentious movies, and I don't use that word negative often. Which those is odd because they're like three hours of visual noise, like. <laughs> but like the self-importance of making these movies three yeah. hours, and again, not filling it with even pretentious god metaphors. I'll take a Zack Snyder three-hour Jesus movie before I would take like Michael Bay talking about nothing, like nothing. In yeah. Those movies. Oh. Uh, my god now i want zack snyder to make a jesus movie more than i ever thought I would. yeah so. i'm gonna say all the good people have been casted because i was like willem dafoe and zack snyder but i was like damn he's already been jesus ah oh, yeah <laughs> he's been the best jesus yeah but no um <laughs> god let's talk about jesus movies next no, yeah um, <laughs> oh, god <laughs> the history of jesus in film um i have yeah, no. i have a friend we can get on that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i had to end it off with transformers because i do think uh, when i think of 2000s it's transformers and pirates for me those films were so good came out around the same time i was so pumped for the future and I was like, oh, those movies are going to be fun because I liked this one. Oh, no. Yeah, quickly. you want to talk about pretentious. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, those quickly got bad, too. It wasn't like yes. you got like one or two again, like a, a trans or a Terminator, where you're like, oh, yeah. one's good, two's good. Yeah. Oh, no, then we're slipping. These movies quickly, sequels yep. get bad. So yep. 
good. I'm glad. I'm glad we had some fun with this one. This was fun to look at these movies. And let yeah. me guys, let me know, guys, down below. Do you like any of these sequels? Are we wrong about these franchises? If you are the one Jaws fan of the whole franchise, let me know. Let's talk about Jaws of Revenge. <laughs> we have we have conversations. Oh uh, yeah. So let me know down in the comments below. Alan, thank you so much for joining me. This was a really fun conversation. Yes. All right, guys, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let us know down below.